Hi all, how are you doing? Hope you're doing great, wherever you are. So I'm on the Quapi Telegram group having a look at this and quite a few people seem to be having withdrawal issues. Um, uh, they can't withdraw their uh, money off the platform, off the Quapi platform. Uh, it says here, there has to be a problem. Too many requests, please try again later. So some people are sort of saying, ah, oh, well, it's just a withdrawal issue. Uh, it's not going to be a problem. They'll sort it out within a few hours. But a lot of people are having this uh, same problem from this morning, so several hours, okay? So the question is, is this the end of Coopi? Is this is this platform finished? I mean, we, we don't know for sure, okay? Um, but I think it was on the cards that if it isn't ending tonight, then it's going to be ending soon regardless, okay? Because there's no way this platform can continue to keep uh, pumping out 3%, 1%, 1.5% and stuff like that every single day, which it, it which it has been doing. And obviously it changed over to a, or it added a crypto trading bot, okay, that was pumping out three and four, between 3 and 4% every day. Um, so they got a certain amount of people involved in that using an offer from Jonathan Seller where they put 1,000 into the Forex bot and then they could also get the crypto trading bot. And obviously that was uh, good for a lot of people because they thought, well, this is this bot gets three, between 3 and 4%. And if that can go on for a year, then we're going to be rolling in it, okay? Uh, pigs in shit is uh, kind of the phrase that I would kind of think of. <laughs> pigs rolling around in shit, okay? Um, so... That kind of is uh, where Quapi is at the moment, okay? Seems to be having withdrawal issues. Now, I, I find it a bit hard to believe that it's going to actually end today because I did think that they were going to get a lot more people onto the platform in in early January. That's what kind of what they were suggesting. But they, that could have been a bit of a trick in, in order to make people think that it was going to go on for another month. And maybe people thought, right, let's get our money in we can make this last another month. So it could be that they've got the most people in now. And this is this is then a great time to rug. They've also had the shop, okay, selling products, okay, which is utterly ridiculous. And um, uh, what else? What's the other? Yes, they, of course, they've had the QC, the, uh, the token. And if you have a look at the token, I think it um, says on here, no, not here, it says on the Discord group, someone's mentioned here, 4 million QC sold, okay? So at about 50 cents each, that's about $2 million that they've added. So that's quite a nice little cash grab on its own, isn't it? $2 million. Um, but if any of you are wondering, this is 100% a Ponzi scheme, by the way. I've got no doubts that this is a Ponzi scheme. Uh, they've done absolutely no trading, in my opinion. Everything's been made up. It's totally unrealistic to be trading all the amount on the uh, crypto and each uh, stock in the Forex bot to put all, all your eggs in one basket and trade uh, like a Google to Google share, okay? It is just ridiculous, okay? Because it could, you could just get wiped out. Most professional traders only trade about 2% of their entire portfolio. Uh, portfolio's worth okay so them trading all of it <laughs> doesn't make any sense and there are a few people in the telegram group who start making excuses for cooperating not paying out and they're just ridiculous some of them so they're just embarrassing themselves to be honest with you they, they just haven't a clue what they're talking about uh, now the other thing that is uh, a bit of a telltale that this may have rugged okay is if you look at the food farm who's um, basically the chief promoter, you click on his videos, so you'll get all the last videos, and you'll notice that most of the Quapi videos have gone. And he was pretty much doing one or even two a day sometimes, it seemed. And now suddenly, no talk about Quapi. Um, isn't it strange that when something goes wrong with a site that has been promoting for ages, he doesn't suddenly come on and make a video saying, Hey guys, relax. Uh, you know, Quap is having withdrawal issues, but I've been talking to the people behind the scenes, and this is what the issue is. So don't worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it. <clears throat> so I would definitely worry about it. And if you're thinking about putting more money into Quap, absolutely don't, okay? Until they sort out the withdrawal issues, which they may never do, okay? 
So you certainly don't want to be depositing money into Co-op at this moment in time if you're contemplating doing that. Um, so if you have a look at these videos, none of these are Co-op videos. None of these are Co-op videos. Although you could argue things like Centrium is just another <laughs> version of Co-op. Uh, none of these. Is this co -op These are projects I'm still, I'm in. Oh, so co might be in that one. I don't know. Uh, don't know. No, sorry. No, that's not in there. And that's not co -op Not co -op uh, Shao Bank. B&B. Honk Shao Bank. So it's two weeks ago. He's done loads of videos in those two weeks. So the last 12 videos, not one a co-op pick. Okay. Um, no, that's 16 videos. No co-op pick. Here we go. So the last video he's got listed on his channel <clears throat> that mentions co-op is four weeks ago. Now, I think he's done about 10 or 15 videos in between now and four weeks ago on co-op So why all of a sudden... Okay, why all of a sudden, Jonathan? Why have you deleted them or unlisted them, most likely? Because YouTubers tend not to like to uh, delete their videos, okay? So if you look in your history, you may be able to find that these uh, videos are still on his site. Okay, actually, he's mentioned it is center in the next copy three weeks ago. Yeah, okay. Um, but yeah, he's not done any videos on copy. Oh, he's, he's got no videos listed for three, from uh, within three weeks on Coopy. So that is extremely telling, I'd say. Why Why have you deleted or, or removed your videos? Especially when you're a channel dedicated to your journey. All right. You know, you're on your, you're on your journey. You're just documenting your journey, aren't you, Jonathan? That's all he ever does. Documents his journey. How come every time he documents his journey... That uh, he keeps removing his videos. He keeps removing the documents. All right. If you're going to document your journey, you keep your documents there so that everyone can see what happened on a particular day. But no, no, no. He says he's documenting his journey, but then after after it rugs, quite often he pull he pulls the video, and this hasn't even uh, officially rugged yet. Okay. We know all know it is going to rug. Okay. But it hasn't rugged yet. But yet he's pulled all his videos. So was he warned in advance? Okay. I'm sure your uh, subscribers would like to know what's going on. Anyway, I'm going to finish this uh, video here. Hopefully you'll get your withdrawals. But if, if I was you, I'd try and get your funds out of Quapi as soon as you can. Because this is likely to rug in January if it doesn't rug now. Okay. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Watch this space, as they say.